And good morning. It is uh, Saturday morning. We're picking up the end of that speech that we read some of yesterday where Jesus uh, says, The Son of Man is going to come with his angels in the glory of his Father, and then he will repay each person according to what he has done. Truly I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. So, uh, here Jesus picks up on an image from Daniel 7, where Daniel saw uh, the heavens open and one like a son of man, which is an Aramaic expression that really means just like a person, like a human being. He saw, he saw this being, this human being, um, flying down from heaven with all these angels and stuff, the glory of his father. Um, and so son of man becomes in Jesus mouth uh, a kind of messianic title it's not just a human being but it's the paradigmatic human being um, Jesus himself and he's going to come and he's going to come and be the judge and he's going to repay us, us each for what we've done um, which is kind of the standard understanding of of how things will end in in the world. There's a there's a curious expression though at the end of this passage. I say to you, there are some standing here who will not taste death until they see the Son of Man coming in His kingdom. Well, the phrase "taste death" means exactly what it sounds like. They they won't die. And so if what does that mean? Because everybody who was listening to Jesus at that point died. They haven't, they're not still around waiting on him to come back. So that can't be what it means. It can't be him coming in the clouds of heaven at the end of time because they're all dead. Um, it can't really mean the transfiguration, which is the next thing we're going to read in six days later, because that would be dumb to say, well, they won't die for the next week. I think what he probably was thinking about was the he's going to see the Son of Man in glory at the resurrection. So some of you will still be alive when this happens. And of course, a lot of them were still alive when it happened. But this is the kind of rhetoric that he's using. Um, and he's saying to us, you know, some of you will still be alive when this happens. Um, and it may be that some of us will see him come out of the clouds uh, or, or that we'll see um, some other manifestation of his presence and we'll realize his glory and we'll realize what it means to follow him. And that is uh, the important thing. And I think that's what he's getting at. So on Monday, we will uh, take up the transfiguration and I will see you then.